guys, today we are doing a lippy declutter. I have lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, some other type of lip products. Um, we're just going to go through and get rid of some that are maybe old or I just don't use it all uh, because I have way too many. I'm not that big of a lippy wearer. I only wear it really on special occasions. I'm more of a clear gloss type of girl on an everyday basis. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. We will have a giveaway, a pretty awesome giveaway at that. Um, and to enter the giveaway, it's going to be super simple. You just need to be subscribed, give the video a thumbs up, and write a comment below. I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I have and what we're going to get rid of, what we're going to keep. First thing we have is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. And I do really like these. So I'm going to keep this one. This one is in the shade Strip. And I have by Clean Color their Manly Matte Lip Gloss. And this one is a mauve shade. Their shades they do by numbers and it's 1603. Um, this one, I guess I'll hang on to it. I haven't really used it. And I have one of my faves, which you can tell from the packaging being all beat up and dirty, is the a Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. And this one's in the shade Too Cute. Definitely hanging on to that. Then we have by the brand Shell, Passionate Pink Lip Pencil. To be honest, I haven't even used this one. I think I'll give that to a family member. And then we have a couple of Wet n Wild lipsticks. And these are A Short Affair. Is that one? Dark Pink Frost. And Breeze. And I don't know, these might be old. I'm gonna give them a smell here. Yeah, I think they're old. I've had them for quite a few years, a couple of years at least. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those. They're pretty cheap anyway to replace. And I have Two other Wet n Wild lipsticks, which I'm probably going to get rid of too because they're old. Um, Think Pink and Just Peachy. And Just Peachy is one of my favorites by them. And the formula and everything's good on those. I'm just afraid they're old. I've had them for so long now. And then we have a Tarte Tardis lip paint in the shade Home Slice. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to that. Milani Amori Matte Lip Cream, and that's in the shade Adorable. And I'm gonna keep that one. It's one of my drugstore favorites. Then we have by the Beauty Crop, their Girl Power Liquid Lipstick in the shade Date Night. And this one, let's see, I'm gonna do a swatch of it really quick. I think it's kind of dried out doesn't seem as creamy as it once did. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that one out. Then we have by Ofra, their long lasting liquid lipstick in Havana Nights. And I'm gonna keep that cause I don't have many colors like this. We have by Smashbox, their Insta Matte Lipstick Transformer. And I'm gonna hang on to that. It really does turn creams into mattes. By Maybelline, their Superstay Matte Ink. in the shade Dreamer. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. It's that pink shade there. And I haven't worn that in such a long time and I don't know why. I'm gonna hang on to that one. I have a Luxe Cream Longwear Lipstick in the shade Sienna by Model Co. use this. I think I may have only swatched it, but I'm going to keep it. I 
have by Grande Lips a plumping liquid lipstick. I'm gonna hang on to that. I've never tried it. By MAC, we have their Velvet Teddy. I'm definitely hanging on to that one. One of my favorites. Very pretty nude shade. By Wet n Wild, their Color Icon Lip Gloss. This is from their Horoscope Collection. That. And then we have by Pacifica, the Power of Love Natural Lipstick in Nudie Red. Uh, it's, I believe this guy's old. It has some discoloration on it there and it just doesn't look right. So I'm gonna get rid of it. We have a lip scrub by Hannah Lay and I'm gonna keep this. I actually really like their lip scrub. And we have two by Clinique. Um, this first one is in Glazed Berry and it got damaged. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one since it is damaged. We have a different grape. Mm, that one I guess I'll hang on to. Then by Ella Masqua, we have one here in the shade Cosmic. Oh, that's a really pretty color and I've never used that. Right? This is one of the reasons I like doing things like this. Did you find things you might have forgot about? I'm trying to get it to focus here for you guys. There you go. Very pretty nude color right up my alley. So I'm definitely going to keep that on my vanity so I remember to try it. I have... Um, by Jeffree Star, Morphe X Jeffree Star. I have two of the mini um, liquid lips. This one's in Mannequin, which is one of my faves. Definitely keeping. And then we have Leo, which I'm also going to keep just because it is unique and not like anything else I have in my collection, really. We have a mini by Stila, their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade. Perla. I'm gonna keep that. I like the Stila formula. We have a NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tre Leche. And I don't know if this one's good still. Let's see. It still smells and looks all right. It's the third one there. I guess I'll keep that one. We have another Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this one's a metallic, and it's in Patina Shimmer. And I'll be keeping that one too. We have this bullet. I think I got this from the Makeup Revolution website a while ago. It's in the shade Baby Doll. And that's exactly what it is, like a baby doll pink. And I did try this once and I don't like it. It's really dry formula and I just don't care for it. So I'm going to give that to a family member. And by e.l.f. I have four of these jumbo lip gloss sticks is what they call them. For these, I think that I'm going to keep the in the nude and the other three giveaway. To a family member. We have by Finding Ferdinand. It's called Knob Heel Red. A very pretty red shade and this is a newer one to me so I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to it. We have an e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Party in the Buff. Oh, it's very pretty and creamy. I'm gonna hang on to that. It's probably another one of those I bought and forgot about. Then we have by Milani Matte Darling. Very pretty pink shade. I'm 
to give that one to a family member. I just don't really use it. And then we have two more of my Vivid Hot lacquers here, which I'm definitely keeping. They're my favorites. A Maybelline matte lipstick in Beige Babe. And I think it's old. I'm going to throw that one out. This texture on it just doesn't look good, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have two of Jeffree Star's lip glosses with Morphe. I'm going to keep both of them. I have by NYX their Intense Butter Gloss again, and this one's in the shade Chocolate Apple. It's a very pretty shade, um, like a dark burgundy. I'm going to keep that. It's very rare to find a good gloss with that color. Um, a lipstick by Becca. It's still in the box. <laughs> this was one I think we got in a boxy charm. Very nice packaging. And a very pretty shade, so I'm gonna hang on to that one. And by Anastasia, we have one, and that's in the shade Pure Hollywood. I'm gonna hang on to that. A L'Oreal. Color Shine lipstick. Packaging on these is really cool. It's in the shade Shining Peach. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to that. I have a NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken. It's a newer one to me, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Then we have a Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit matte lipstick and it's in the shade Rebel Rose. I'm going to hang on to that. I have a couple of these old Victoria's Secret um, pencils, lip pencils, I guess is what they are called. Let's see. Tinted Lip Sheen and Lip Crayon, this one was called. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of both of those. They don't even make these anymore, so I know they're old. And I have a couple of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Another formula I love from the drugstore, so I'm going to keep. I have shade Candyman. A shade Dose of Cocoa. And Rose Blood. I have two bullet lipsticks by Mellow Cosmetics. One in the shade Electro. So bright neon orange, and I'm gonna keep it just because I don't have anything else like it. The shade Nude. It's a very pretty color, so I'm gonna hang on to that. I have another Morphe and Jeffrey lip gloss I'm going to hang on to. It's in the shade Slurp. By NARS, we have a velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. A pretty shade. I'm going to hang on to that. And for lip pencils, I think I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to go ahead and keep them because I don't have too, too many. So we'll just keep all of those. By Fresh, we have their... Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. I'm definitely keeping because I love this stuff. We have by L'Oreal their Infallible Lip Paints in the shade Nude Star. And I think that's old. Yeah, it has kind of a weird smell. I'm going to go ahead and just toss that. I'm 
ColourPop. I have a lippy stick in the shade She Bad. Nice nude shade. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Next we have a Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Alluring. Very pretty red shade. And I'm definitely keeping that. We have by Appeal their Holographic Lip Gloss in the shade Posh. I'm keeping that one. I have two of these Too Faced Lip Injections. One's a nude shade and one is the clear. I don't see the actual shades or anything on them, but they're both really old. I'm gonna get rid of those. We have by Vo Violet Voss a matte lipstick in Trist. I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have a Tardis lip paint in OG. Pretty nude. I'm gonna keep that one. We have a NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper gloss in Elizabeth. Keep that one. Have a MAC lip glass in the shade Love Child. And I'll be keeping that. Another one I know is old, I'm gonna get rid of is the Elf Pout Perfector in the shade Glow. It was very pretty, but and I know it's old. We have Bastiate London, a liquid velvet in the shade Pinup. I'm going to keep that. We have a mini Kat Von D in the shade Lovesick. Also old and separating I'm going to get rid of. The last one we have is the Black Honey by Clinique. It's just a nice dark colored balm. I'm going to keep that. Alright guys, well I think between the trash and the giveaway pile I'm getting rid of about half of what I had so that's good that's what i needed to do is make some room and now for the giveaway for the giveaway rules i would like you to leave a question in my comments for an upcoming question and answer video i want to do i did do that on my last giveaway too i just didn't get as many answers as i was hoping for so if you'll leave me one question below that you would like to know about me make sure you like the video and that you're subscribed the first item in the giveaway is a IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. And then we have a Glow Recipe Mini Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. By Ciate London Everyday Vacay coconut setting powder and by Avene we have their thermal spring water by LXMI we have a nourishing balm to oil and this can be used as kind of like a mask or a lotion it's a very good moisturizer I hear then we have by Queen, a matte liquid lipstick in the shade Wifey. Then we have a magnetic palette by Itse, I believe is how you say the brand. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right. And I'm going to take it out of the cardboard just to show you guys. So it's a nice kind of like a faux leather material, rose gold. Four shadows that are in there, but you can lift this out, I believe, and make your own magnetic palette too. We have by Anastasia Beverly Hills, their Moon Child Glow Kit. And I'm gonna slide that out just to show you guys. Still has the plastic on it. Very pretty 
highlight palette and some of those shades you can even use as eyeshadows if you want it. Um, kind of like the purple tones. I know me personally, I probably wouldn't wear as highlight, but they look very pretty for eyeshadows, especially that top lavender, the purple horseshoe. Also throw in a makeup bag. This one is a Betty Boop bag. We got an Ipsy and it has kind of like the sweet ones on the front that you can kind of push up and down. So that is it guys for the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want, feel free to leave with your comment below with your question, um, a video you would like me to film or that you something you would like to see. And I'll be glad to film that for you as well. And I'll keep the giveaways coming. I try to do them here on my channel at least every few months or so. So keep your eye on the lookout for future videos. There may even be some surprise giveaways coming up that I'm not going to announce so that you have to be a true follower to enter those um, because you're not going to know unless you watch the video. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.